14 Laws of the Universe If you learn and master these universal laws, you will have mastered life on the physical level. Here's our edited version of the 14 Laws of the Universe. Number one, the Law of Divine Oneness. This law helps us to understand that we live in a world where everything is connected to everything else. All is energy, and energy is an extension of source energy. Everything we do, think, say, and believe, know, affects others and the universe around us. We are microcosms of the macrocosms. We are all parts of the same source. Number two, the law of vibration. Everything in the universe moves and vibrates in circular patterns. The same principles of vibrations in the physical world apply to our thoughts, feelings, desires, and wills in the etheric world. Each sound, word, object, even thought has its own vibrational frequency unique into itself. Number three, the law of action. This must be applied in order for us to manifest things on earth. Therefore, we must engage in actions that support our thoughts, dreams, emotions, and words. Action is energy and motion. Number four, the law of correspondence. This law states that the principles or laws of physics explain the physical world. Energy, light, vibration, and motion have their corresponding principles in the spirit world or the ethereal world. What happens in the inside reflects the outside. If you are hectic and stressful, your world will be also. If you are in total bliss, your outside world will mirror that bliss. As above, so below, so within, so without. Number five, the law of cause and effect. This universal law states that nothing happens by chance or outside the universal laws. Every action has a reaction or consequence. If I am thinking successful thoughts, speaking like I am already successful, feeling like a success, and taking successful action, the end result will have to be success. We reap what we have sown. Number six, the law of compensation. This law is the law of cause and effect applied to blessings abundance that is provided for us. The visible effects of our deeds are given to us in gifts, money, inheritances, friendships, and blessings. The good that we do eventually comes back to us in different forms, matching the same energy. If you want to increase your compensation, you must increase the value of your contribution. So do more of what you've been asked and you will be compensated abundantly. Number seven the law of attraction. This law demonstrates how we attract the objects, events, and people who come into our lives. Our thoughts, feelings, words, and actions produce energies which in turn attract like energies. Negative energies attract negative energies and positive energies attract positive energies. Number eight, the law of perpetual transmutation of energies. This is a powerful law. It states that all persons have within them the power to change the conditions of their lives. Higher vibrations consume and transform lower ones. Thus, each of us can change the energies in our lives by overstanding the universal laws and applying the principles in such a way to affect change. At any time, you can switch vibrations from negative to positive. You can always change your conditions. You are never stuck. Number nine, the law of gestation, also called the law of divine timing, states that everything has its gestational period or time to manifest. Every thought, word, feeling, and action is a seed. Once nourished with enough focus and energy, that seed germinates into life situations and circumstances. Your desires, goals, and innermost thoughts will manifest in divine timing and not a moment sooner. Number 10, the law of relativity. 
This law states that each person will receive a series of challenges, tests of initiation for the test purpose of strengthening the light within. We must consider each of these tests to be an opportunity and remain connected to our hearts when proceeding to resolve these problems. This law also teaches us to compare our problems to others' problems and put everything in its proper perspective. No matter how bad we perceive our situation to be, there is always someone in a worse position. It is all relative. It is all perspective. Number 11. The Law of Polarity. This law states that everything is in a continuum and has an opposite. There cannot be hot without cold. There is no up without down. There cannot be extreme negative without extreme positive. We can suppress and disperse of negative thoughts and energy by concentrating on its opposite. If we are negative, we can always switch our vibration to attract positive energy by focusing on the positive. What we focus on expands in our reality. Number 12, the law of rhythm. This law states that everything vibrates and moves to certain rhythms. These rhythms establish seasons, cycles, stages of development, and patterns. Life is a series of ebb and flow. The tide goes out, then goes back in again. Each cycle reflects the regularity of God's universe. Masters know how to rise above negativity or challenges or challenging seasons by never too excited or allowing negative things to penetrate their consciousness. They focus solely on what they want and so their reality reflects just that. Number 13, the law of belief. But since this is the Aquarius age, it's going to be the law of no. This law states that whatever we fully know with thought, emotion, and conviction eventually becomes our reality. We are always creating laws for ourselves based on what we know to be true. Even if a thing isn't factually true, our no will make it so. It is done unto you as you know. Number 14, the law of gender. This law states that everything has its masculine yang and feminine yin principles and that these are the basis for all creation. The spiritual initiate must balance the masculine and feminine energies within him or herself to become a master and a true co-creator with the force responsible for all existence. Master these laws and you will become a master manifester and a deliberate co-creator of the physical world.